All right. Um, I've mentioned the diode um, programming. Just it's just ones and zeros, and I showed how this program, how this device is programmed. But it, those ones and zeros don't go directly into the phase lock loop part. They go through these other chips here. These four chips. So these are 74HC283s. Well, what is that type of part? Let me zoom down. Um, and what is that type of part? Well, that type of part is an adder. Um, so why do you want to add two numbers together? Well, in um, ham radio, I talked about repeaters. I did a, I did a video on repeaters. Um, you have a transmit frequency and a receive frequency, and they are separated by a certain amount. And that's called the, uh, the offset, okay, or the split. Um, and so over here is another separate set of uh, diode switches. Some of them say simplex, which means you don't change. Okay, so you don't change frequency when you transmit and receive. You do it on the same frequency. Then there's a, a plus offset and a minus offset. So this says minus repeater and plus repeater. So if a minus repeater, um, I think it's usually minus 600. I don't remember the numbers now, minus 600 kilohertz. Um, and uh, that is this number, and then it's plus 700, I believe, in the opposite direction if you have a plus offset. So anyway, it's a negative offset, plus offset. So in order to add or subtract, you put them through these things. Um, and it's two's complement, um, you know, logic and stuff. So anyway, that's, what, that's why these four chips are here, just to add in an offset or not add in an offset. And they are programmed over here. And how do you enable these things? Well, you enable these things with this transistor here. This transistor is turned on when you have the receive frequent, the, re, the receive uh, mode set. So this is plus 8R. So when, it, when the radio is receiving, this becomes plus 8 volts. So this is plus 8 receive. And um, it, will turn, it will turn this on. Um, so anyway, so when it's transmitting, obviously that will be low and this won't be on and then, and then these things will work. Okay, this basically these diodes here, when this is on, basically ground all of these and make them all zeros. All right. Uh, what else do we have to do? Uh, I think we could do, let's see. Why don't we go ahead and, because we're kind of at the end of the uh, device here, we can say, well, where does that go? Okay, well, it goes up here. Actually, the, the takeoff of the loop, the, the, the place where the data comes out of this loop, the, the frequency of, of the IF frequency actually comes out here, gets buffered, and it comes out here, okay? And uh, it's split, and it's go, it goes two different directions. It goes up here to this receiver chip, and then it goes down here to the final amplifier, okay? All right, um, so I think the final amplifier will be easy to understand, but we haven't talked about the modulation. Okay, we have a frequency and we have a, a way to transmit it. We'll, we'll, we'll go through this later, but we have a way to transmit it. How do we modulate it? Remember, this is an FM radio. We want to FM modulate it. Okay, well, we need to come back over to the microphone. Okay, the microphone is what we're going to modulate. And that comes into this wire over here. It comes in over here. And let me get the bigger schematic out, okay? That microphone, after it goes through its preamplifier, comes along um, to here. And this is modulation level. So we can choose some amount of that audio frequency. Remember, the microphone's gonna give us audio frequency. So we have audio here, and it's going to be a volume knob for how much modulation do we have. It's going to go through this capacitor and it's going to go th over to here. It's going to go into the loop. Remember, this has a voltage that we're controlling the diodes with, okay? So higher voltage, higher frequency, lower voltage, lower frequency. We're going to sum in the audio with some resistors. And what does the audio do? It goes up and down. What does the voltage do? It goes up and down. What does the frequency do? It goes side to side. It goes up and down in frequency, right? Um, and so that's the way the modulation is done. It's just very, very simple with just a resistor. Um, yeah.
Uh, that's just amazing, right? <laughs> it makes FM radios very, very easy because the final amplifier is very easy because it doesn't have to move up and down. It just says fixed. And the modulation is very easy. You just, you just put in some wiggle into your frequency. Um, yeah, makes things, uh, makes life a lot, a lot easier. Okay. So, um, how much do you wiggle it? Well, that's set by standards. There's narrowband FM and wideband FM, and there's a certain uh, kilohertz wiggle that you put into the frequency for your particular radio. And the amount of wiggle for this radio is set with this, uh, with this resistor here. So uh, you measure it, and you get to the standard you want to measure it to. I forget what it is for these things, 3 kilohertz or something. Um, and uh, you wiggle it. And if you have too much, you lower it. You don't have enough, raise it. So yeah, this sets the modulation level. How much, how much frequency spread do we have? Now you can measure that on your spectrum analyzer. You can um, put the spectrum analyzer to look at the output and then talk into the microphone and watch the, uh, watch the frequency spread. You can put it on max hold and kind of build up the picture and you can see how much of, how much of the maximum frequency to the minimum frequency and that is your modulation depth. And uh, there you go.